Okay, let's make small update in this program. Now we have some, you can see right LED and left LED on the robot itself. So there are some LEDs on the robot and I want to use these LEDs because I love lights. So it's, if it makes some lights while it's moving, it looks fun. So let's do that. So in this case, I will go to my scratch and I notice I have two LEDs which are right and left, right LED and left LED. So I'll take this one out. So what I want, I will actuate this LED based on the sensor. So let's say when the sensor is running on the black line, okay, it is on the black line, I want to make LED green, which means it's going straight, it's fine. Okay, let's do that first. So I will use my if statement again. So here it comes if, and I will use this if statement in automatic mode. So I will go inside this one, okay? So in this case, what, let me zoom it a little bit. If my left sensor is false, because sensors are true when they're outside the line. Sensors are false when they're on the line. So I have to use when the sensor is false. So I'll take a knot. Which sensor is false? Let's say left sensor is false. So go to the bot. Left line sensor is false, which means it is on the track. In this case, I want to make my left LED green. So red will be zero. This is RGB, percentage of red, green, and blue, 100. So this will be green, okay? Now, if this sensor is true, which means it's outside the line, it is making some corrections to move the robot back inside. So I will make it orange or let's make it red. So it's making correction. So I'll take another if statement. Another, oh, from where does it come out? Go here. Now, if the sensor is true, which means it's outside the line, I want to make the color red. So left LED will be our 100%. Similarly, we can do it for the right. So I'll quickly do that. Perfect, let's try. So you can see that now the LEDs are turning on and it looks nice. So it is making some corrections and you can see how the LEDs are turning red and green and you can also see the LED color here. Looks pretty nice. So you can see when the red LED is on, it is making some corrections. All right, so you can see that when it turns, it turns on the light. So this is how you can use the various features of your robot. Another thing you can use is the distance sensor, which it is sensing. So right now you can see it's 400 centimeter because it is sensing beyond. So if I suppose put an object here, you will see this value will change. Okay, not this one. I will take a cube. And this is just for demonstration. You can use this in your projects. For example, now. So I will select this. So you can see the centimeter and you see it's changing now. So it's changing because it is measuring the distance. So you can use this sensor to avoid robot hitting any object. You can stop the robot when it is in front of an object. In this case, we can turn the motor zero. So you can have a look here again, how this is measuring the distance. So you can see when the robot is straight, it is showing the centimeter, all right? So this was about how you can use MBOT robot in the Mirinda software and do some modification based on what you want. So thank you for watching and I hope I come up with more examples just to make interest just to make learning interesting and fun. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.